Welcome to our video about the beautiful 18th century town walks situated within the historic market town of Kings Lynn in Norfolk, England. Until 1537, Kings Lynn was known as Bishop's Lynn. But during the reign of King Henry VIII, it was surrendered to the crown and took the name Lynn Regis or Kings Lynn. It is 100 miles north of London on the east coast of England. The walks are an historic landscape park, the only surviving 18th century town walk in Norfolk. They are also important in the national context and in 1998 were designated by English Heritage as a Grade II historic park. A 4.3 million Heritage Lottery funded restoration has returned this 42 acre park to its former glory and added modern amenities. The Red Mount Chapel is the highest point on the walks. It was constructed in 1483 to 1485 and originally named the Chapel of St Mary on the Mount or Our Lady's Chapel. The structure is unique and it was built to contain a relic of the Virgin and as a wayside chapel for the use of pilgrims. During the medieval period, the Shrine of Our Lady of Walsingham was the second most popular destination for pilgrims in England after Canterbury. Furthermore, pilgrims from across Europe flocked to visit the small Norfolk village of Little Walsingham and their route took them through the port of Kings Lynn. There is a local legend which states that there was a tunnel which connected the Red Mount with Castle Rising Castle, nearly four miles away, although no evidence has been found to support this notion. It is a great story nonetheless. You may be interested in watching a video we made about Haunted Castle Rising. Link in the description. The Granite Gate was originally part of the town's defences, which included the nearby South Gate on London Road. Granite is the name for the bank which formed part of these defences. During the period of demolition of the town walls in 1803, the Granite Gate was demolished and re-erected as an ornamental feature in 1816. Vancouver Garden lies just to the east of Granite Gate. This garden dates from the 1920s and it features an ornamental bandstand. The garden is named after the naval officer and explorer Captain George Vancouver, who was born in Lynn in 1757. There is a statue of George Vancouver in Kings Lynn by the Customs House. Vancouver sailed with Captain Cook and during his own great voyage of 1791 to 1795 established British interests in Northwest America. The city of Vancouver and Vancouver Island in Canada were named after him, as was the city of Vancouver in Washington State, USA. There was once an open-air swimming pool in the area towards the bandstand. I remember swimming there a couple of times as a child. It was, however, replaced by the new St. James Indoor Pool in 1975, situated just to the west of the walks. Kings Lynn Town Football Club ground is known as the Walks and is located adjacent to the park area. The Lynettes are played The Lynettes? <laughs> what? Lynettes? It's like the Ronettes, it's not a Motown group, it's the Lynettes. Well, it's spelled Lynettes. No, it would be E-T-T-E-S if it's the Lynette, like the Ronettes or the Marvelettes. Because you know you've got a microphone now, you don't need to vocalise quite so much. My ears are ringing. <laughs> the Lynettes have played here since they were founded in 1881. In its early years, the club had one of the strongest teams in the country. Today, they are currently members of the National League, the fifth tier of English football. The ground has a capacity of approximately 6,000 spectators. If you're interested in watching more videos about Norfolk, please look at the links in the description below. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a like, hit subscribe and come back again for more videos from the Brick Girls. Leila's waving, so cute Leila.